We also have uh, patches about the longest walk. Again, uh, this is how we're going to raise monies to get back. We're not going to ask Congress. We're not going to ask the White House or any agency for any grant money at all. We're going to we're going to go back the way we came uh, by the goodness of the people. And I want to say that um, the people out there were very generous. They're extremely generous. Uh, we'd arrive sometimes late at night, and they will have been waiting for us six, seven hours. But they did wait, and they provided us with food, lots of food. And then as we began to cross the country, truck drivers were stopping, people were stopping and offering us cases and cases of water. So there, I know, I know from from that beginning, from, from the very fact that they did that, I know that the, that the people in America are still good. There's still goodness in our people. No matter what this government does, what they commit themselves to do, engaging us in this war, or that war, or, there are still some good people in this country. And we crossed 35 native reservations, 35 people, I mean 35 Reservations from California, Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, uh, also in, um, they're, they're, they're not state, federal recognized, but state recognized in Alabama, uh, also in uh, North Carolina, Virginia. We met people who are doctors, physicians, lawyers, congressmen, mayors, governors. It was a great walk, and so we we concluded it yesterday, and today's celebration for us. Uh, but I wanted this, this headdress here. It uh, it took a long time to get here to Washington D.C. When Buffalo Bill had the Wild West days going in in um, in Europe, he asked native people from Minnesota and South Dakota to go with them. So many people, Ojibwe people and Lakotas, went with them and performed during what they call the Wild West Days in Europe. And of course they would have Indians riding out and headdresses and uh, they would do mock uh, battles. But one of the Ojibwe warriors went over there they asked people to bring their traditional dress and my great great grandfather was one of them that went over there and he passed away uh, in uh, in Europe and uh, but they somehow the body came back but all his belongings and then in January of last year a friend of mine was going through an antique shop and saw this in a glass encasement and written in it was from the Ojibwe, Ojibwe warrior, Bogdanagizik. So I have it, he saw it, he said, Dennis, he called me from Paris. He said, Dennis, what is your Indian name? And I told him, and he said, is that Ojibwe or Chippewa? Of course, he, know, he knows me only by Ojibwe. And uh, it was a, he said it was a Chippewa warrior. So 90 some years later, the headdress comes back and I have chosen this day to, to wear it because sometimes you see native people with headdresses on, they got regalia on and uh, this is what I wear, <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt and I got running shoes or walking shoes. So I want to thank the drummers uh, that came. And the singers, of course, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, dancers coming from uh, different ways. Uh, some of the dancers were with us on the longest walk. Uh, Chili, the grass dancer, uh, was with us. Also, uh, Wayne, uh, Wayne Crew.